Uh, hi guys, uh, Brian here from PointLabs.net. Just wanted to go over of a story that was just posted on this uh, India Indian Express algorithmic trading case. IT department swoops on former NSE bosses and brokers. So their securities and exchange board of India uh, investigated these NSE algo trading that were run by <coughs> brokers irregularities in the algorithmic, algorithmic, algorithmic trading case. The official's wife, IT sources said, in Mumbai, provided technology to a stockbroking firm for unfair access. Question becomes, why are these HFT firms getting busted all the time? Uh, a lot of it has to do with greed, obviously, and a lot of it is driven because these, these developers have ways to go about it. For instance, there's retail brokers that will resell your trading flow back to HFT firms, take a cut in that order flow, and then resell it back to the broker. So quite a few retail brokers do this. I'm not going to mention any, just again, do lawyers and whatnot. But I can tell you that um, why a lot of people are on interactive brokers it's because they claim that they don't do that. They even have ads that you may have seen that educate people on that. Um, a lot of brokers do that because it's just an extra cash flow for them. Uh, it is obviously a corrupt practice. It's like going to, uh, um, I don't know, a car dealership or a car um, machine <clears throat> shop <clears throat> or an auto body shop. Order the parts and you realize that they're not the brand name product that you're ordering and putting in your car, but they're not declaring it that it's actually potentially aftermarket uh, subpar quality parts. So it's the same idea here. It's just immoral. So um, we need to be really careful on where we trade. Um, there is basically the DMA, the direct market access, but in order to get onto exchanges or spot markets, you have to have a large account, quarter million, probably maybe even half a million dollars. So that's going to take that out. So if you're building up your trading account, and to prevent this, as I said, is to to trade uh, through a big broker for retail or uh, for retail traders like interactive brokers. Um, just something to be aware of. Um, but I just don't think uh, I'd hope not that interactive brokers. I like that, but I will tell you this, is that Timber Hill, which was owned by Interactive Brokers, let's do um, some uh, digging here, which was a market-making firm, which is part of Interactive Brokers. And Interactive Brokers did own this company, Timber Hill, for a while, uh, which was part for their market-making division, but they lost quite a bit of money and got rid of it um, uh, a few months ago. So here we have this news back in May where Interactive Brokers was sold off to, of all places, to Sigma, which is now the big uh, HFT shop out of, the, out of New York um, that are now even bigger than Renaissance Technologies. So um, is there any connection back of this Timber Hill back to Interactive Brokers, I don't know. But, um, you know, it's things like this that we need to be aware of and uh, make sure that we understand how things uh, things go about with the front running out there. And you may ask, what is front running? Um, it's basically, basically what I'm saying is, Practice of market makers of dealing or advanced information provided by their brokers and investment and analysts before the uh, clients are given information. So this is probably one of the big reasons why this firm got busted in India because of this. I'm not saying it is or it isn't, but it's very illegal. And as I said, there are some very big, well-known retail brokers that do this, but they don't make it uh, public. Um, I know of a couple. Uh, don't ask me what they are because, as I said, I don't need to be uh, a 
have the lawyers come after me. But uh, be aware of it and do your own research on Google later. While we're on the topic, one other area that I forgot to mention was uh, stop hunting, which happens to a lot of corrupt uh, retail, specifically in Forex brokers. Uh, the ones, let's say, are uh, hosted offshore in the Caribbean or in places like Cyprus or some weird place where regulators and there's no protection for your capital uh, on your account. So a lot of these brokers can be involved with that. And um, basically it's a strategy that attempts to force market participants out of their positions by driving the price of an asset to a level where many individuals have chosen to stop their stop loss orders. Uh, so here on Investopedia, um, I'm just gonna, I'll put the links in, in my article here. But uh, you should really understand this because a lot of brokers do this. That's why I'm very careful on the type of brokers uh, I choose. I know one broker that doesn't do it is LMAX, uh, well, at least at the time when they were founded, but I can't guarantee where they're at now. But that is, back in the day, a notable one that didn't do this. Okay, over and out later.